Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is the web series where we follow all the latest updates and rumours regarding the Superman reboot. This is episode 16, and we are yet again talking about the Superman suit. But also, James Gunn has commented on the Ultraman rumours that we discussed in the previous episode. So, on threads where James Gunn is most active nowadays, he has stated the following regarding the Ultraman being the main villain rumour. The primary protagonist of Superman is shockingly Superman. The main villain of Superman is shockingly Lex Luthor. I don't know where all the stuff is coming from that is something other than this. There are so many stories coming out every day, it's difficult to deal with and every time I strike something down, I'm giving it attention. So I'll say again, don't believe anything unless you hear it here. And why would you want to know everything before the movie comes out anyway? Now firstly, that final line is very true, and it's something I will talk about a bit later on in this episode. But focusing on his earlier part of this comment, he states that Lex Luthor will be the main villain of the movie, which I don't think anyone is really surprised about. But what I will say is that he doesn't directly mention debunking the Ultraman involvement, and he only says Luthor is the main villain of the movie, which technically doesn't mean Ultraman isn't in the movie at all. It just means he's not the main villain villain. And this brings me on to the larger issue with Gunn commenting on scoopers. Whilst I genuinely love it when he calls out these scoopers who are just trying to get clicks, the issue is that the more scoops he directly debunks, the more streamlined the information becomes. Because if there are scoops he doesn't comment on, then more likely than not, it's because they are true. And that's the issue. He is indirectly confirming some scoops to be true by saying nothing. And within that, if he was to genuinely genuinely miss some reports that are actually fake, and we now know that he tends to comment on fake scoops, we are more likely to assume that those reports are actually true, and sometimes if that scoop is damaging to the reputation of the movie, then that could damage his film, and it's because he didn't say anything about it. So it's turned into a lose-lose situation now. Don't get me wrong, I really like that he is damaging the reputation of scoopers who lie to get clicks, but unfortunately doing it too much will just cause more damage in the long term to the movie. So I think from now on, he should just stay silent on all scoops, no matter how spoilery they could be. And his final line really is the most important thing that he said. I think that has made me realise how much scoopers have destroyed the build-up to these movies. Before I was on YouTube, and before I was even on the movie side of social media, I had no idea what was going to happen in these movies, until I watched the trailer, and then saw the movie in the cinema. But now it's almost a guarantee with every single movie that key plot points will be revealed by third parties without the filmmaker wanting them to be. And myself and many others just accept it like it's the norm, and it really shouldn't be that way. There are theories based on the information the studio wants us to know, and then there are theories based on spoilers that scoopers reveal. And the latter has to stop. It was like a natural instinct for me to hear that news and to talk about it. Imagine if Ultra Ultraman is in the movie, and we only found out he was in the trailer or movie itself. What an awesome and mind-blowing reveal that would have been. But now we will see him there and just go, yep, we knew that over a year ago. No big reveal and no crazy reaction. Just yep, the scoopers were right. I had no idea what was going to happen in Avengers Infinity War or Endgame, and the thought of knowing key elements of that movie before seeing them would have 100% damaged my viewing experience. There is a difference between scoopers telling us information like when a trailer is set to be released, and telling us key plot points that would have hit so much harder if we only found that out in the cinema. When the Flash movie was in production, there were terrible rumours about why it was being made, and so when key parts of the story story leaked, I wanted to know what that leak was because I was doubting whether or not I wanted to see the movie after what I had heard. DC was making movies that I didn't really like, and I was worried that this next movie was going to be more of the same, so I needed to know if they were true or not to let me know if it was even worth my time to go see The Flash. So I think people wanting to know what happens also is because we have been hurt too many times and we don't want to be hurt again by DC. 
So finding this stuff out before is almost a safety of this movie sounds good so I can let myself be excited for it and know I want to go see it in the cinema. But to be honest, I'm going into the DCU with an open mind anyway and I love Superman so I'm going to watch this movie on opening day no matter what and I'd rather do that knowing as little as possible about the plot so I get the best experience in the cinema as possible. So I don't need to find out if it's worth going to see based on leaks from scoopers who get most wrong anyway. So I think from now on, if a scooper tries to reveal information regarding the plot of Superman, I will ignore it and definitely won't make a video on it. But if it's information like when a trailer will be released or something like that, then I will talk about it as it's not a spoiler regarding the movie's plot. But now onto something James Gunn has said regarding the Superman suit. One user said, good to know, honestly I'm just ready to see Superman, and Gunn responded with, and I'm almost ready to show it to you, even though we're probably only 18% or so through it. And you may be saying to yourself, but our movie news, he doesn't mention the suit at all there. And you are right, but some are theorizing that Gunn mentioning 18% specifically is a cryptic message of sorts. You see, Superman's first ever comic, published on April 18th, 1938, and with production set to be filming outside in a couple of weeks anyway, they could use that date as the moment they officially reveal the suit. And so Gunn saying they are specifically 18% of the way through production may just be a coincidence, but this isn't the first time Gunn has used a special day to Superman as a day to announce something Superman related. On February 29th, Superman's birthday, we got the first reveal of what the Superman crest looks like. So on April 18th, the day of the first Superman comic being published, we could potentially be seeing what the full suit looks like. It's a crazy theory that sounds out there, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's true. And if Gunn's percentage is just a coincidence, then it won't really affect when we see the suit, because it is extremely likely we will see the full suit within the next couple of weeks maximum. It it has to be before the movie starts filming outside in populated areas and that's set to happen by the end of the month. So either way, we should be seeing the suit very soon. Now the final piece of evidence that the suit is going to be revealed sooner rather than later is that this image of Ira Corrinsweet was posted of him sitting in Rachel Brosnan's chair, where she said she has been recast as Lois by Ira, which yet again is another very cute photo of him, but in the background, we can see this long red material hanging up. And many have speculated that this could be the Superman cape, and James Gunn has commented on this. Real Anarchy, who has a brilliant YouTube channel, asked him, by the way, is she using Superman's cape as her backdrop? and Gunn responded with three thinking emojis, which to me is almost a confirmation that this is the cape in the background. I don't think he would comment on this if it wasn't true. So I would say that this is yet another tease of the Superman costume. And I have to say that if this is the cape, then I like it. I can't tell what the texture of the material is, but the color of it does look very good. But I do hope we get the full suit reveal on April 18th, because I like the idea that we get big information on days that connect to Superman directly. It connects this film to the history of Superman more than if they announced this stuff on any random day. But make sure to let me know your thoughts on the Ultraman discussion and when you think the suit will be announced in the comments below. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.